ArmorMax is the most advanced flexible armoring technology available for severe erosion and slope stability challenges. The engineered earth armoring system combines Pyramid 75, a high-performance turf reinforcement mat, with engineered earth anchors to lock soil in place and protect against hydraulic stresses. This video will review the anchor installation process. Each anchor consists of an anchor head, flexible cable tendon, and a load-bearing plate with locking mechanism. Anchors are delivered fully assembled and ready for installation. Propex offers three different types of anchors, each made from corrosion-resistant materials to provide mechanical strength and durability. For optimal performance with the greatest risk reduction, it's important to consult with Solmax on anchor selection and installation pattern design. Anchor installation is completed in conjunction with ArmorMax Laydown. A detailed guide to the ArmorMax Laydown process is available in the ArmorMax installation instructions. Prior to installation, ensure you have the following tools. Percussion hammer, drive steel, jack jaw anchor setting tool, and cable cutters. Select the drive steel that is the size and length needed to drive the anchor to the specified embedment depth. Insert the tapered end into the anchor head and position the anchor head with inserted drive steel tip above the HPTRM at the drive location. Using a percussion hammer, drive the anchor through the pyramid into the ground perpendicular to the slope surface. Continue driving until the desired embedment depth is reached. Remove the drive steel from the ground. Depending on soil conditions, this may require the use of a jack jaw or other leverage device. Slide the load-bearing plate down the cable tendon towards the pyramid using your hands. Once the plate makes contact with the pyramid, place the jack jaw setting tool on top of the anchor plate and place the top of the anchor tendon into the grips, keeping the anchor tendon taut. Press down on the jack jaw lever towards the slope surface, pulling the anchor cable out of the ground. During this step, the anchor head will rotate perpendicularly in the ground, a process known as anchor setting. Depending on the soil type and condition, this step may need to be repeated more than once. When the anchor is set, there will be a noticeable change in the amount of force needed to displace the anchor tendon further. This is a good indication that the anchor head is now rotated and the anchor is ready to be load locked. Typical anchor embedment depth can range from 3 to 12 feet based on soil conditions. To load lock an anchor, Continue to apply tension to the anchor tendon using the jack jaw setting tool. Once the anchor has been load locked, use cable cutters to remove the excess anchor cable so that it is flush to the load bearing plane. For more information or installation guidelines, visit solmax.com.